to this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a nice design for Twitter, just like this one. So let's get started. I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Yo, what is up, squad? It's your boy Diablo. Hope you guys having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another video and another episode of how to design. I know I haven't done a video like this in a while, but this video was recommended by this guy. He told me to do a header, so I'm doing a header. And to this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a nice design for Twitter, just like this one. So let's get started. Okay, so what you wanna start is start out with a new project, a 1024 by 341. Press okay. And then what you wanna do is first of all, what you wanna do is get an empty layer, click this end button, fill in stroke, and turn the color to black. Now we're gonna add an image, hit the plus sign, folder, folder layer. And then we go back. And I'm gonna grab these things that I already made. This will be done in the description, so if you wanna download anything that I'm using in this video, it'll be done in the description and you can download. But now we have these two triangles that are in the right and the left corners. What I like to do is add two games that I really like. For example, Rocket League. This one. Rocket League. About right there is fine. And Black Ops 4. There you go. Okay, what I'm gonna do is grab the triangles and click select pixels by clicking the box with the ring. Select pixels, go to one of the images, click the pencil and click extract. And there you go, you have one of them. Now you gotta do the same thing for the other one. You could use any image you like, but since I like playing BO4 and Rocket League, I'll put those two. So now you're gonna grab both of them and put them underneath the triangles you can merge them down but I'll just keep it like that so now so you can see it you're gonna want to do overlay duplicate screen and there you go now you have two different ones but before you do anything else the pictures you had that you turn into triangles you want to click on the adjustments tab black and white and do the same thing for the other picture. So since this side is too bright, what I'm gonna do is select it, click the plus sign and layer from selection. What I'm gonna do is try to change the color into a, like, a lighter color that matches this side. There you go, that should be good. Okay, so now, what you want to do is grab the one that you single, that you cut out from the other one, from the other triangles. What you want to do is duplicate it and then click on this plus sign up here. Click on these and move it a little bit to the right. Oh, that is way too much. That should be good. And now grab the bottom one, the one underneath. Click the box with the ring, select pixels. Click the one on top, click the pencil, and extract. Oh, no, sorry. Click clear, not extract. Sorry about that. So now we're going to move it a little bit forward and see how it looks. Oh, you can't see it because it is on multiply. There you go. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Just adjust it a little. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate it two times so it could have the color as that one, and then I'm gonna merge them down. There you go. And now I'm just gonna cut it a little, try to add some designs to it right there. And oh, that is way too much. Right there, lower it a little bit. Oh.
There you go, that should be good. And then I'm gonna clear it. There you go, you have that nice design. So now, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this one. And I'm gonna drag it down this way, towards the middle. And I'm gonna do it again. Again, on the middle. Since the middle is there, I'm just gonna put it right there. And now for this one, I'm gonna cut this part off. For the third one, I'm gonna cut it off. Boom. Now what I'm gonna do is merge all three down. And then I'm gonna click the pencil, copy, and paste. You could do duplicate, it doesn't matter, but it's way easier like this for me, because you can see like it centers by itself. So now, to add a little bit more color, we're gonna add a particle on the top. Like I said, everything that I'm using in this video will be down in the description. You could go ahead and download it. But I'm gonna use this one, and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. About, mm, a little bit more. But right there is fine. And then I'm gonna click, no, not that screen. There you go. So now I'm gonna add my text. You could add any type of font you would like, but I I like this one, so I'm just gonna keep it. Move it a little bit up to be in the center. I'm gonna I'm gonna click select pixels the end button, fill in stroke, and give it that orange color that I have as the theme. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it is fine. I'll just copy this color right there. We'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna add two more texts just for the sides. Okay, like I said, you could use any font you like, but I like using these, so I'm gonna keep it like this. What I like to do is watch the above numbers and see if it's even. I'm going to keep it at 25. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. I'm going to keep it at 25 so it could be even. Come on, drop. Oh, nope. Go back down. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to move the two YouTuber text. I mean, the two text to the side oh this one belongs over here just like that now move the other one too that is good now I'm gonna change the color to an orange color again should be the default color so just add it oh wrong one I wanted this text. Okay. So now we want to make the text pop out a little bit more. So what we're going to do is add some shadow to the back. But instead of adding drop shadow, we're going to add glow. Change the color to black. And it should give that little shadowy thing on the back. So we're going to do that twice. First, we're going to add a little bit. About right there. 30 is fine. And then add another one. But this time, make it about 12. There you go. And now for the small text, do the same thing. Oh, not drop shadow. Oops. Glow. There you go. There you go. To add a little bit more shine effect, what we're gonna add is something that I downloaded a couple of days ago. And you guys can use it with down in the description, like I said, for like the fifth time already. I'm gonna add this and drag it a little. That should be good. And then we're going to click the adjustments tab, make it black and white, click the two papers, blend mode, 
overlay. Now it gives it that awesome look, that awesome effect on it. And you should put it under the light, not on top of it. <laughs> and if you think it's pretty bad, then just move it around a little, mess around with it, give it some color. Mm. There you go, that should be fine. And then you're gonna lower the opacity down because you don't want it that bright. You wanna give the color, the background some color too. And there you go. So we're just gonna do is save it. And then save it to gallery. And you should have something just like this. Well, this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to check out my sponsors and social media. Use code Diablo. And I'll see you guys in the next yeah. one. Peace. Yeah.